did you know the world record for the most Irish coffees made in three minutes is 49. It was made by myself, uh, Rory McGee from the Shelton Bar in Cork City. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Irish coffee uh, in conjunction with Matters Coffee, Glam Cross Dairy and Jameson Irish Whiskey. So firstly, in making an Irish coffee, you want to make sure your glass is good and hot. So once you've achieved that, dump it and you'd want um, two of your Matters Sugar sachets um, to keep the drink balanced. You want to make sure these are entirely dissolved as well because the weight will keep the, the coffee heavier so the creams will float nicely at the end. So you, you want a good hefty measure of your, your whiskey and then of course your, mass, uh, your Matters roasted medium coffee. So fill her up nicely and of course make sure it's entirely dissolved and this will all help to make the cream float at the end. Like people use a spoon uh, to kind of guide it in. It's not essential. Uh, if you have the correct texture in the cream and good weight in the coffee, it should just float nicely on top. So that's looking good. I always leave it set for a few minutes. As you can see, it's kind of bright or dark and even a bit more uh, as it settles down. And we're gonna get the cream. The cream you're given is very rich cream and also double, so it, it won't need as much um, uh, whipping at all. So you can generally just a slight whip and, and pour it slowly over the top and, and you should have uh, great results. So here we are guys, this is your, your Irish, Jameson Irish coffee, Matters coffee and Glown Cross Dairy. So our motto here at the Shelburne is life is too short to drink average whiskey. So with this Irish coffee, it's pure quality with only cork products. So I hope you've enjoyed and slant up.